Much of Belair the Sham fell to the invaders. For many years, our rulers did little to turn fortune to our favor. Some fought against their brethren, seeking petty advantages and even joining with the enemy. But others were steadfast. God sent us three worthy leaders whose boldness restored courage and hope to the faithful. First came Zangi, who, with the fury of wildfire, seized the city of Edessa. Next came Zangi's son, Nur din who called for unity among the Muslim forces, and all hearts were attached to his cause. Boldest of them all was Nur din's student, Salah din Yusuf, whom the Franks called Saladin. As a young man, Saladin showed great promise. Blessed with a mind sharp and bright as a Damascene blade, he would one day prove himself a skilled tactician. But like all on the path to greatness, he would first be tested in the forge fire of war. The Franks had staked their claim on Egypt, intruding again and again with unquenchable greed. Meanwhile, Egypt's Fatimid rulers fought one another for power, their struggles spilling over into Nur din's realm. And so, into Egypt marched the army of Damascus, with Esad din Shirkuch at its head charged with settling the festering turmoil and expelling the Franks. For each territory captured, Shirkuh would gain the support of the local Fatimid garrison. Fatimid Egypt churned with political unrest. Some made pacts with foes of any banner, only to change their allegiance when fortunes shifted. With the warmth of dawn upon them, the Damascenes seized the upper hand in the battle for control. Esad al-Din Shirkuh, the Lion of the Mountain, a military man of Kurdish origin, served at Nur al-Din's behest. Salah al-Din Yusuf, called Saladin by the Franks, was at this time a young man, unproven in battle, but cunning as a spider. With the wind at their backs, reinforcements arrived at the port with a fresh zeal for the fight. 
القيادة تحركوا أعدوا أن هيا أزرعوا هيا يا قاضي الأمر جهزوا أنفسكم أجدوا أقوى تحرك ساعد نعم بالطبع تقدموا أيها الرومات سيروا الرب مرحبا كونوا متأهدين الخيالة مستعدون الخيال مستعد أسمع أنصتوا يا أعدوا أن يا قوم حضرت الأوان أيها الرومان بالطبع أمرك سيدي مصطفون أيها الخيالة تحر انتبهوا اركبوا ما الذي أتمناه مفهوم أمرك يا سيدي حالا ما أول أسرعوا الآن إلى تأدية الواجب أمرك سيدي كم نتعرض للكوز جميعا الخيالة مستعدين سأنفذ انفروا إلى الأمام تقدموا معا أيها الرومان سيروا على الحوض نجحنا لنذهب أنصتوا يا رجال انتبهوا انتبه حالا تحركوا أيها الجنود هيا بنا إلى الأمام أنا محارب عظيم جاهزون انتبهوا لنذهب أنصتوا كلا صوتوا جيدا أنصتوا كما تشاء إلى الأمام الآن أثبتوا لا أنفذ أمرك سيد أنصتوا لنذهب Joining their Frankish brethren, a new foe emerged onto the field. The Knights Templar. الخيالة مستعدون الآن إلى تأدية الوقت هيا بنا كما تشاء سيروا إلى الأمام
انتبهوا ما اوامرك شدوا اقواصكم ايها اتبعوا الاوامر الرقاقون احدهم يطلق علينا اصدوا يا رجال الى الامام جهزوا ايها الرماحون سيروا كونوا King Amalric of Jerusalem ruled the Franks at this time, his ambitions spreading its tendrils far beyond the holy city. <laughs> Seeking the advantage, each side stoked the fires of war as ever more soldiers rallied to the front. <laughs> Reduced in number and spirit, the Franks of Jerusalem broke their camp and began their joyless march out of Egypt. Shirkuh soon claimed Cairo for Nur al-Din, but Egypt's governance would not long after fall to his illustrious nephew, Saladin. <laughs> 